Good evening, how are you today? Look at all this. I've got all these sprues here. So a friend of mine uh, wants me to build this truck for him. Um, we've got this Peterbilt model 359 conventional tractor. It's by Revelle. I've never built a Revelle kit before. And it's got all this weird stuff like, you know, level four and it's, it's 125 scale, so it's pretty big. Um, but it's just, it's pretty basic sort of thing and he doesn't want it weathered or anything like that he wants it really nice and clean so um yeah we'll have a quick look uh, this i don't like how the doors are on and all that and it doesn't look like it's got any windows for the doors there it's got the front windows um but there isn't there there's enough detail. And you've got a few bolts there and there's enough to work with here. It's, it's not too bad. I'm actually surprised. I, I've heard that Ravel isn't that great, but that's not too bad. I can work with that. I, I wouldn't like it, but you can see that um, the person I'm making for will love it. I would rather that be photo etched, but that, that'll do the job. It's like the Peter built symbol. It'd be better if it was photo etched, but it's not, so. And that's the hood, so. Right, we'll go there. It's gonna be big. Really big. Um, because the chassis, see, there's the engine. It's really huge, the engine. Um, and there's a couple of bits for the, the tractor. Uh, the dashboard's got nice wood grain on it. So, um, yeah, I'll be able to do a little wood. I always like doing wood, so... And it's got all those dials and stuff on it. So that'll be a bit of fun. Um, the chassis is, like, massive. That's big. And then you've got... The fenders and stuff there, they're cool. Uh, this is the inside, so that's where he sleeps. But they've put the ejector marks. It's annoying how it's white, isn't it? They've put the ejector marks on the front of it. It's like, I always love it when they do that. So you get the interior, which is cool. Um, and another thing I don't like. See, this, well, I do like the decals here, okay? You've got those American decals, and they're done by Ravel in 2020. It's a pretty new kit, isn't it? I'm not sure. I haven't done much research on it. Um, the instructions seem pretty all over the place. Like, I've, uh, I've already come up with a plan. I look through it, and it's like, I'm not going to follow this. But, um, yeah, it gives you an idea of what to do. Uh, I don't like this, so... And they've pre-painted the parts, the chrome parts. It'd be a good idea, but you've got to cut them out. Like, it might work for um, the hubcaps. There's some parts you might be able to get away with it, but definitely not these um, exhaust here, because they sit you know, right exposed there, and there'll be a feature, and you've got all these connections here. They, 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 you know, they try to make that underneath, but you see, you'll see it. Um, don't know about these fuel drums. Yeah, you'll see a big, dirty gap there. So, I, th I think I'll have to repaint them, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah. Or, or we can touch them up, I don't know. It's very, you know, it's like glass. Yeah, we'll see how we go. And then you've got, you've got your wheels. So, I, I don't reckon you're going to need to paint them either. I'll have a quick look at these. See if we can get them open. 
see if we can open them up. Yeah. I don't know what they're made out of. Fair enough. I won't paint them. Will I? No. Not sure. Well, I'll put this together and we'll we'll uh, see how it goes. How it, a truck? That's something different. All right. I'll see you again soon.